Are uh, you alright? Uh, this is uh, the seventh video and the Blu-rays. Uh, first up is a uh, is a white dog's uh, gasoline tin. Great, great film, great addition. Uh, the road um, masterpiece of a film um, deserves all the good reviews. Um, it's a great, great film. Um, the way uh, um, Robert Duvall turns up. And he's only in it for what, less than 10 minutes would you say? I think about less than 10 minutes. Just turns up and just steals the show. Just shows what a great actor he is. It's a great, great film. Um, Road to Perdition, another great film. Very stylish film. Not Jude Law's massive fan, but he's good in that. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, about as, well, <laughs> not very historically accurate, I'll say. Um, if you're kind of from England or Britain, you'd kind of understand the uh, landing at uh, the White Cliffs of Dover. Then you suddenly see him up by Hadrian's Wall, and then saying he's five miles from home, from Hadrian's Wall to Nottingham. And if you, if you know your kind of geography of England, you know that's slightly fucking crazy. But for some reason, it's so daft and mad. I, I, I've always had an affection for it. Don't ask me why. That's an um, extended edition as well. Some good Alan Rickman bits put back in. Uh, this is German edition of Rob Roy. Uh, this is a good film, I have to say. Um, Jessica, some of the Scottish accents done by Jessica Lang and uh, Eric Stoltz. Uh, pretty bad. Um, it's a bit real vulgar film at times. I kind of like the vulgarity, I have to say. Um, Tim Roth it just plays just such a little shit in it. Um, great ending. John Hurt as well is great, as is Brian Cox. Neeson's great as well. Oh, I like the film. Uh, it's Gem Steel Book of Rock and Roller. It's a nice addition. Good film. Uh, this is. Um, I'll turn this around. This is Rome. HBO series. Absolutely incredible series. Uh, this is a media pack of a uh, running man. Um, this is this is really really nice edition. This is a uh, Germany. It's limited to two thousand. Great great film. A German still book Seven Part Ryan. As I said before, um, Seven Part Ryan is a good film. Um, I wouldn't. I don't like it when people say it's like the greatest war film of all time because they obviously haven't seen enough to comment on that. Um, it's got some great set pieces, no doubt about it. The beginning is incredible. Um, it's a good film, but as I said, it's not it's not the best war film. Uh, Searchers, uh, one of my favourite westerns of all time. Um, the between this and Zulu, and probably how the West was won. Um, the quality of uh, the Blu-ray, particularly this film, is incredible. It's absolutely incredible. It's it's a brilliant film. A serious man. Uh, very funny film. Um, for those who've seen it, the uh, Jolly Roger line in this just, 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 just creases me up every single time. Uh, it's, it's, it's a very, very good film. Coen Brothers. Um, it's a great film. Uh, this is Seven, uh, another great film. This is uh, from Spain. This edition, really nice edition as well. Very good film. Kind of. The only thing that would probably spoil it is, I mean, Spacey stills the show, and it's not bad, it's acting at the end is a bit, not that great at the end, but it's still a great film. Uh, Kurosawa's uh, Seven Samurai, Criterion Edition. Classic, classic film. Uh, did your book, Shawshank Redemption, again, great book, uh, great book as well. Um, I can't, is it, I can't remember what book it's from, it's on the four short stories by Stephen King, is it? Is it all seasons or four seasons? I, I can't think of the book. I know it was called Rita Hayer from the Shawshank Redemption. And I like the book. I know the book's a lot more, a lot more harsh as most Stephen King, you know, books are, and the, the adaptation has to be a little bit different. It's a fantastic film. I don't think, I don't think red is black in the book. I could be wrong about that though. Um, and then it's kind of a joke, you know, when he says because I'm Irish when he asks him about his name. It's a great film. Really great film. 
uh, German steelbook Shark Holmes. Um, I have to be honest, when I when I when I was going to watch this, I was uh, I, I thought it was going to be pretty shy, but I have to be honest, I really enjoyed it. Mark Strong was great in it as well. Um, I really enjoyed the film. It's really some really good set pieces in it. Shining, classic horror film. Um, yeah, brilliant. It's the extent. This is the extended version as well. Yeah, it's a great film. Uh, this is a French steel book, Shutter Island. Um, I thought the film was absolutely magnificent. Really brilliant, brilliant film. Really, really enjoyed it. Uh, did you book Silverado? Another great, great western. Um, thoroughly recommend it. Um, if you like your westerns, get this. It's a great, great film. John Cleese stands up in a small role in that as well. Um, Sleepy Hollow, probably the last real great Tim Burton film. Great, great gothic feel. Um, Walken steals the show, where he has no lines. As the headless horseman. Um, oh, that's fantastic. Great cast as well. Really love that film. Great feel to it. Um, Snatch. Um, I like this a lot more than Lockstock. Um, this is a good one. Um, good, good film. Um, uh, Alan Ford probably steals the show as Brick Top. Some of his lines are just brilliant. Solomon Kane. Awesome film. Um, I remember reading some of the sh um, some of the short stories um, by uh, is it Robert E. Howard or Conan? Um, I thought James Purefoy is a hell, just a hell of a good actor. So underrated. Um, he's brilliant in Rome as Mark Antony. He's great in this film. Um, it's it, it, it's really got a great feel to it. I really really like that film. Really like it. Uh, Spartacus, um, classic film, classic Kubrick film. Lance Olivier is so great in this. Um, it's a brilliant, brilliant film. You know, fan of Kurt Douglas as well. It's just a great film. Uh, Criterion Edition of Stagecoach, another great film, great Ford film, another great Western. Uh, this is a play, a uh, steelbook of uh, Star Trek. Not the mass, not a massive Star Trek fan, but I have to say I I, I enjoyed that. Uh, Clone Wars, pretty good. Germany, uh, uh, Clone Wars, uh, complete season one, the Digibook. This is a quite a nice edition. They're a bit hit and miss, I have to say, um, but um. They're pretty good if you you know if you're a fan of Star Wars. Season two. Did you did you book again? Where's that? Did you have to peel that back, but I won't do that. It's um yeah, as I said, they're a bit here this, but you know. Can occasionally be good. Uh, state of play. This that was alright. Uh, Step Brothers, one of my favourite comedies. Um, I will never get old in my book. Great extras as well. Um, just sometimes crying with laughter. Um, I, I I love it. I, I think it's either you love it or hate it type film, and I love it. Um, Taken, just probably the most badass action film in the last ten years. Um, Neeson just wreaks just such havoc. Um, the direct, um, it's just a great film. Uh, I think, uh, director this to death from Paris of Love, which isn't too bad, but this is a lot better. Um, some of the brutality in this is just great. Oh god, it's just awesome. Taking a pen and one, two, three, a bit shitty, I have to say. Um, I haven't seen the original, and I hear that's pretty good. Um, this wasn't that good. Uh, Terminator, great film. Classic film. I'm gonna try to hurry up now because uh, I think I'm running out of battery. Uh, Terminator 2, Judgment Day, Steelbook, great film. Terminator 2, uh, just Terminator, sorry, Salvation, Director's Cut. That was alright, not too bad. Uh, Australian Digipack, Austrian, 
digipack of uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Real nice edition, classic film. There'll be blood. I spoke about that before. Daniel Day Lewis is so awesome in it. Now this is a Korean edition of Thir uh, Thirst. Absolutely great take on the vampire genre. And last but not least, it's a Criterion edition of Thin Red Line Returns Malik. Great, great film. Worth it for some of the deleted scenes as well. Um, Mickey Rourke's parts were cut, as amongst loads of other parts were cut, but you don't see the footage of it. Gary Oldman in particular, and loads of other actors. A Criterion edition of this. It's a really good film. Great war film. And uh, that's the end of the shelf, and I'll be updating another video shortly. Cheers.